and what has been held as the most sensational discovery since the King Tut find 100 years ago. Excavation teams in Egypt say they have found the largest ancient city ever uncovered in Egypt. The city, which dates back to the golden era of Egyptian dynasties over 3,000 years ago, is complete with several neighbourhoods including a bakery with ovens and storage potteries. The extraordinary discovery comes in the wake of the Pharaoh's Parade and only one year short of the centenary of the King Tut's find, which has been marked by the opening of the Grand Museum. But this discovery is a lost golden city, untouched for 3,000 years, according to the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities. In a statement by the Ministry, they explain what they believe they have found in the following context. The city is 3,000 years old. It dates to the reign of Amenhotep III and continued to be used by Tutankhamun until the city was lost under the sands for 3,000 years. Within weeks of excavations, and to the team's great surprise, formations of mud bricks began to appear in all directions. What they unearthed was a large site in a good condition of preservation, with almost complete walls and with rooms filled with tools and treasures of daily life. The team began excavations in September 2020 between the temples of Ramses III and Amenhotep III near Luxor, some 300 miles south of capital Cairo. It's strange how the site is untouched, suggesting an abrupt end to the life that once filled the walls of the city. They must have fled all of a sudden, and of course further excavations will reveal these clues. In a statement released to Facebook by the Luxor Times on behalf of the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities, it reads as follows. The Egyptian expedition was surprised to discover the largest city ever found in Egypt. Founded by one of the greatest rulers of Egypt, King Amenhotep III, the ninth king of the 18th dynasty who ruled Egypt from 1391 to 1353 BC, this city was active during the king's co-regency with his son, the very famous Akhenaten. It was the largest administrative and industrial settlement in the era of the Egyptian Empire on the western bank of Luxor. The city's streets are flanked by houses, which some of their walls are up to 3 metres high. We can reveal the city extends to the west, all the way to the famous Deir el Medina. The excavation area is sandwiched between Ramses III's temple and Amenhotep III's temple at Memnon, with the Egyptian mission starting working in this area in search of Tutankhamun's mortuary temple. The archaeological layers have laid untouched for thousands of years, left by the ancient residents as if it were yesterday. The first goal of the mission was to date the settlement and hieroglyphic inscriptions found in clay caps of wine vessels, with historical references tell us that the settlement consisted of three royal palaces of King Amenhotep III, as well as the empire's administrative and industrial centre. A large number of archaeological finds, such as rings, scarabs, coloured pottery vessels and mud bricks bearing the seal of Amenhotep III's cartouche, confirmed the dating of the city and showing a cultural explosion had already occurred in the aftermath of the Squatterman event evident in the scarab symbol. All over the excavated areas, the mission has found many tools used in some of the industrial activity, like spinning and weaving, and still expects to uncover untouched tombs filled with treasures. Metal and glass making slag has also been unearthed, but the main area of such activity has yet to be discovered. Two unusual burials of a cow and bull were found inside one of the rooms. Investigations are underway to determine the nature and purpose of such a practice. And an even more remarkable burial of a person found with arms outstretched to his side and remains of a rope wrapped around his knees. The location and position of this skeleton are odd and more investigations are in progress. Of the most recent finds, a vessel containing two gallons of dried or boiled meat has a valued inscription. Year 37, dress meat for the Third Hebseb festival from the slaughterhouse of the stockyard of Ka, made by the butcher, Lua. This valuable information not only gives us the names of two people that lived and worked in the city, but also confirmed the city was active during the time of King Amenhotep III's co-regency with his son Akhenaten. The excavation also reveals a mud seal impression that can be read GM Pa Aten that can be translated as 
the domain of the dazzling Aten. This is the name of the temple built by King Akhenaten at Karnak. As history goes, and according to the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities, one year after this port was made, the city was abandoned and the capital relocated to Amarna. But was it? And why was it? Was the city repopulated again when Tutankhamun returned to Thebes? Only further excavations of the area will reveal what truly happened 3,500 years ago. But what do you guys think about the greatest discovery in Egypt since the King Tut find? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.